you can see just how many brand new bees are gonna be coming out of this. Every single one of these things right here is a brand new bee. How long does it take for them to build each one of these little cells? Multiple cells per day? You know, honestly, it depends on their food source. So if they have a lot of feed, they could build this frame in a day. I'm not seeing a queen on this one. Okay. So we'll go ahead and set this in the box also. So we're gonna go through here and we're gonna slide this one straight up also. What I think a lot of people don't realize is that the majority of the bees in a colony like this are actually female. The only ones that are males are the drones and there's usually only a couple hundred per entire hive, correct? Exactly, they don't wanna to make too many of them because they actually are resource drainers. They have to feed them, they have to do everything. The drones, that is. Yeah, the and drones. And the drones just sit around all day, drink up the honey, and wait until it's time to breed with the queen. Exactly. Not exactly the toughest life, but yeah. they die immediately after breeding. Yeah, they do, and that's a very, very harsh death. Now, this is the frame that has the most amount of eggs on it. Uh huh. This is the one where we find the queen. Oh, there she is, you're right, look at that. You can see how when she starts moving around, she pretty much demands her space. Mm -hmm. So that's your girl right there. That's the one that's laying all the eggs. That is an Africanized queen. Mm. But we need to get her into that hive too. Okay. So we'll go ahead and set her in there. You're just gonna be real careful when you set her down, keeping an eye on her, and then you bring her back so that way we don't smash her. Now, just make sure there's not a lot of bees standing up on top. We don't wanna smash a whole bunch of bees, so we'll just set a lid on them. And I have a new colony of bees. And there we go. The queen in this hive is Africanized, but will be replaced with a docile European queen in the coming days. The reason it's not done immediately is because this swarm must acclimate to its new home before the queen is replaced. That's pretty crazy, transferring four colonies of Africanized bees to their new homes and being a part of the swarm. Wanna do something else crazy? What'd you have in mind? Wanna try the bee beard again? Today I'm gonna to attempt to wear a beard of 10,000 bees. Worst case scenario here is that a single sting sends me into anaphylactic shock. You look like a man who's ready to build a bee beard. You ready to do this again? I guess. 10,000 bees. I go from 3,000 to 10,000. It's a pretty extreme jump. So what's gonna be different about today? Today we're gonna to try a little bit of a different technique. I'm gonna put a queen's necklace on you. Okay, that is different. What is the queen's necklace? It's actually a mated queen. Okay. And she's in a cage with them. Now what it is, those bees are getting used to her pheromone. So these are young bees that are gonna to wanna to crawl to her. I'm just gonna sit right about there. Oh, that sounds like a really safe spot right on the edge of my neck. Putting 10,000 bees on your face sounds like a really safe idea. Uh, round two, here we go. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna, uh, same thing. I'm gonna take off my vest and this shirt. I'll have on just a basic T-shirt. We're gonna take the top of this bee box off. It's gonna expose the bees and we're gonna start putting them on the face. Well, we're gonna take the queen's necklace out first and put her around your neck, because that's a new thing that we're gonna just, we're just gonna try it, why not? You like getting stung in the face, so I mean. I don't like getting stung in the face. I oh. thought you told me that the queen being there would help reduce the chances of stinging. Yeah, I don't know. Never know, never know. All right, I'm ready, let's do it. So I will stand in position here. Okay. Okay, it is time to wear a 10,000 bee beard. The most important thing to note about this bee beard is that these bees are the first generation of a requeened colony that was once Africanized bees. These bees are younger and are less likely to sting, and this means that the bees should be docile, giving me the chance to prove that Chris's process of recolonizing killer bee swarms is working. Or at least I hope. Holy cow, here they come. Wow, that is a lot of bees. This is preparing the queen's necklace. And this is what will be tied around my neck. And inside this little cage is a queen bee. And that's what all these workers are interested in. This is it, it begins right here. And you can't move it even if you are stung. So if I take a sting, I just have to endure through the pain. Because if I swat at the bees, it's only gonna make them angry. Just try to keep my body calm. Reduce that fear pheromone. Calm down, they're not stinging you. Okay. 
Chris, how many bees would you say are on me at this point? Well, maybe a thousand? Only a thousand bees so far. I think there might be more bees in this box than 10,000. Well, 10,000 is a nice round number, Chris, but it feels like more than 10,000. What this shows you is that bees aren't necessarily aggressive toward humans. Chris has on no bee suit. I have on no bee suit. Their Royal Highness is hanging around my neck. All they want to do is get close to her. They want to start making comb so they can start producing honey. We're going all the way. 10,000 bees. This is insane, Cody. You have far surpassed the amount of the first time. They're everywhere. It feels if I can't move my body an inch. The weight of the bees is incredible. My entire body feels like it's crawling. I'm doing everything I can right now to just keep myself calm, putting my mind in a state of relaxation. The first casualty. You get stung? Yep. The only thing I want to make sure is they don't get irritated with him. Stung on the neck! Chris, I'm getting stung on the neck! Oh, what is sting in my neck? Oh, sting on the neck. This is intense. I am covered in bees. Chris, is this the biggest bee beard you've ever built? I do believe this is the biggest bee beard I've ever built. This looks awesome. What would you guess the number of bees on me are at this point? You have 10,000 bees on you right now. So this is 10,000 bees? 10,000 bees, man. Because it's all the way around the back of you too, like from your hat to your shoulders, all the way around you is completely covered in bees. So, so this I, box had more than 10,000 bees? I'm assuming so. I can feel the weight of the bees. The sound is incredible. I'm the king of bees. We have done it. We have achieved the ultimate bee beard. 10,000 bees completely covering my upper body and all in the name of Honey Bee Conservation. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, I think it's time to remove the bees.